Hey, what's going on guys and girls? Old colleague Phoenix here and welcome to episode number 31 of, sub my, of my Subnautica Season 2 Let's Play. Sorry, stuttering over my own words there. So, we want to go get some Uranite crystals because we want to make some uranium. Hi, Mr. Reefback, hanging out. I, I, why can I not see you on the underside? What? Excuse me. Oh, there you are. Yes, we want to go get some uranite crystals to make some uranium so we can make the thermal uh, upgrade for our prawn suit because I didn't make one last season and I'm curious. Also kind of want some because uh, I'm curious about the nuclear reactors as well. Okay, if it's going to die on me, I'm going to save it before it shits its pants. Okay, we're good. The sun is setting. How far am I away from the base? Um, probably not far enough yet. I should just go down so I can see the ground. Alright, let's see where we are. Blood kelp is not where we want to be. We want to head to the safe shallows. Reef back, I'm sorry. I just bumped into the poor reef back. Poor Mr. Reefback. I had sunglasses on my mic on my mouse cable. Uh, we should be able to get uranite from this or the sparse reef, should I say? Not the safe shallows, the sparse reef. We should be able to find some uranite. Actually, I know a guaranteed spot for it is in the blood kelp forest. That is like a guaranteed spot for uranite crystal, which is, I believe, this way. Like every time I come over here, I remember in season one, I would consistently be able to get over here with zero issues. I'm also going to turn the audio down slightly because I feel like it's a bit loud. Um, yeah, I would get, I would be able to come over and go into the blood kelp forest with zero issues on finding it, but for some reason. I've struggled a couple times this season to find it easily. I've either gone past it or I've just missed it. It's odd. Also, this will be one of a couple episodes I'll be recording in a row tonight because I am going away for a couple of days. So I've got to stock up on a little bit of recording. So, unfortunately, if there's problems that you guys... Uh, bring up in an episode for the next couple days and want them addressed. They're probably not going to be addressed. I will comment on them um, myself personally, but not like uh, I won't be able to address it in an episode um, straight away. So unfortunately, that's just that's just the way it's going to be. I do apologise for that, but you know that's the way it is. Got to avoid that guy because he'll probably kill me instantly or something. I have no idea what happens. If he gets a hold of me when I'm not in a ship of some description. You know, it's actually... This area is way more creepy when you're not in any form of out... Of, of suit or, or... Whatever. It's beautiful but creepy at the same time. There's plenty of uranite down here. Plenty and plenty and plenty. 30 seconds. I've got, I've got time, I believe, I hope, shit, I'm pushing it a little bit harder than I wanted to, let's get in here, Welcome up. All systems online. okay, sorry, I wanted to check the recording because I just wanted to make sure my audio wasn't too loud, uh, in Subnautica, alright, so we've got, what, five, six, seven, I want to get more than that, if possible, I'd like to get a little bit more than that because I, I don't even know how much these reactor rods are. I know I can quickly check that. I'll check that once I get back into the Cyclops. But if we only have to come over here once for a while, I mean, what's the harm, right? It doesn't hurt to, to get a few while we're already here. It's ten. Ten is probably enough. Fuck me. I don't like the noises, holy shit, metal load. I 
Alright, let's just get back to our Cyclops. This area is creeping me out now a little bit. Not a big fan. Honestly, not a big fan. That Reaper, uh, that Warper really made me kind of shit a little bit. I didn't expect him. Can I get... Oh, no. Thank you. Okay, so now we can check this out. The nuclear reactor rod is... That's power transmitter. Where's the nuclear reactor rod? Mm, that's the nuclear reactor. We need ingots, lead, lubricant. Oh, so we need lead for that. Well, fucking of course we do. One uranium, one lead, one titanium. Okay, I got told that last season as well. I do remember I did get told this information. Okay, so let's just head up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to head back to the base with this uh, uranite crystal. I think it's... I don't know whether it's one-to-one. -one. If I end up having to come back out here, I'm going to be kind of annoyed, but I guess these are the things I might have to do for being, you know... Uh, ignorant but I will join you guys and girls back once we get over to the base okay guys and girls we are back at the base and I had to delete my cache files again oh the joys the joys of it all I absolutely love having to delete these cache files I can't wait till they hopefully get that sorted out but for now when I do this I get a giant coral tube that spawns in my multi-purpose room I mean, it's great for filling this up. That that's that's fantastic. I can have plenty of coral, but it's extremely annoying to have to do because it's a giant one. It yeah, it takes a while, which is a bit of a pain, but that's fine. So we need to figure out how many is it three to one? Because if it's three to one, it's fucking die. It is three to one. Am I even gonna... What have I got? 12, maybe? Yeah, it looks like I've got 12. Okay. I ended up with 4 uranium. Not as much as I was hoping for. Okay, we need to remember that in the future. So... Nuclear reactor is... 2 titanium ingots, 3 lead and lubricant. Do I even have that much lead? I have none in there. I got four lead. Okay. So we need, we've got that. We need lubricant and we need the ingots. I don't have a ton of titanium, although I guess in a kind of cheating way, cheaty way, not purposely because the game just kept crashing on me continuously. I should have a bunch of titanium spawned around the area all over again. So in some ways, this is great, fantastic, but um, also, I just need a place to dump this stuff. Um, yeah, because I've run out of room. God, I need more chests. Also, someone did say, thank you, Dante, I believe it was you. Uh, if you push this little button here, you can change the color of your lockers, which is pretty cool. That is pretty cool. That's what that is. That's the random chest, because it's the first chest in the door, and I seem to just dump tons of shit in there, so... I can hold one, two, three. I can hold three. That's not really enough. I can just... put the extra stuff... And I can turn this metal salvage quickly into titanium. We will at least try and get the nuclear reactor online today. So what have I got? 3, 6, 11, 16, 16. And what do we need? We needed two, right? Two titanium ingots. That's pretty simple, I guess, really. We should be able to find enough titanium in just this little area to do get our fill of uh, titanium to make the ingots. I mean, I've got enough now, so that's fine. We also need to make the reactor rods, which are built in the fabricator, I believe. Mm, don't know what they'd be under. 
Uh, uranium, lead, titanium. Okay, so that's... I might have enough to build one reactor rod. If I'm thinking it in my head right, I think I'll have enough to make one. Because I've only got one extra lead after I make the nuclear reactor. And we needed the extra titanium anyway, because we've got to figure out where we're going to put this thing too. We need a spot for this. And I'm thinking it's going to cost six titanium to make another multi-purpose room. I don't even think I have enough titanium to make another multi-purpose room right now. Whoop, whoop, whoop. No, I don't. Um, so where can we put this massive beast? We could have a multi-purpose room come off of this, I believe. I'm not sure whether it will work. I want to test it, though, to see if it's even possible. It is. Okay. Is there any more titanium just right here? Yes, there is. Good stuff. Because we we want um we want decent efficient power. Someone told me that uh, based on which way I face the solar panels will give me different ratings on the sun. But the thing is, it doesn't seem to be the case because the sun moves. Obviously, everybody knows this sun in in games and in real life moves around. By the way, this life pod's damaged. Um. So yeah, it should be interesting. Okay, we need. It, it really, it doesn't seem to make a difference at all, so. That's the, that's the state of affairs there. Alright, so we need, we need to not do that. We need to build this multi-purpose room. Alright. That's the wrong thing. That's not right either. Will you auto-join to this? Probably not. You won't. Okay. Can I put a compartment off of you? I cannot. Can I put an L compartment off of you? Well, you've got another join to you, right? Correct. Where's your joining points? Like, I, I know people have explained the building system to me a few times. It still confuses me, so... Maybe one day I'll look up a fucking tutorial and actually make a solid, concise effort to get better at building. But for now, I kind of just dumb my way along as necessary. But at some point, I will use my brains and really try, I guess. Well, I could just have it. Like, it's not something that I'm going to be visiting very often because it's just a reactor room. It's not something that I have to go in all the time anyway. Except for to put reactor rods in, so it's not like a staple main, like, viewing of the base. Right, so what I need is I need... Oh, shit. Oh, fucking damn it. I put them in here. I need the three uranium. I need the two titanium. I need the three lead. Okay, let's get this thing done. Starting to run short on time. I figured this wouldn't take so long. Fucking need the lubricant. Alright, I'm cutting. I'll be back in a moment. Okay, I've got everything I need to build this nuclear reactor. Alright, baby, let's get this thing built. And then we got to make a reactor rod. Excessive caution when handling radioactive materials. In the event of exposure, there is a risk that the data in your PDA recording the circumstance of your death will be permanently erased. Okay, so let's go make one of those reactor rods. That's that's what we want to do. Wow, this give, gives me up to 700 power. So it just gave me an extra 500 power potential. Alright, so we need just one lead. We've got one lead. I don't know how many reactor rods this thing takes to do its full job. I hope it's not like a ton but I guess you know this could be potentially fantastic for our power I bet you it's fucking backwards too of course it is son of a bitch All right, can take four it generates power pretty quickly it seems decently quickly there's a caution label on it and stuff well this is cool I like that. Look at that. Beautiful screenshot right there. 
Um, also, I didn't see any names in the comments to name this Seamoth. Um, I'll leave it for another episode and see what happens. But anyway, guys and girls, that is going to be the end of this episode. If you liked it, remember to leave a like. If you want to see more, hit that subscribe button. I thank you so much for watching, and I hope you all have a lovely day. All right, peace.